day crafty chums it's nikki here with hashtag 29 faces and this is going to be face number 10 i'm just quickly going to be showing you the other faces that i've done so far in the series one to nine nine being my favorite one actually <laughs> even though it's a bit green and that it's my favorite one <laughs> so let's get ahead and get on with number 10 this is face number 10 and i don't know what I was thinking with face number 10 and you'll see what I mean as soon as I put some of the colour on mm, looks okay now, you know, looks quite normal <laughs> doesn't stay that way for long anyway <laughs> yep, I just went mad, I just went bonkers I had to put the light on because it was getting dark so I apologise for the shadows that I'm casting over my own work, but it was dark. There you go. I'm rubbing at the uh, lines there that help position things on the uh, face. And I'm getting out my graphy tints. And uh, it'll be um, graphy tints, do it, graphy tints, and Caran Neo Colour Tools anyway <laughs> so I started off quite sort of like normal that you know that's a shadow and the highlight see and that's the highlight the brown was shallow the green was a highlight and then it kind of went all downhill from there <laughs> now actually it's pretty funky it's a funky funky um face this time I'll call it funky face so yeah, quite like it. It's different. I got bored with just doing like, you know, good looking girls, good looking girls, and so I did this one. And uh, mm, I don't have too much to say. I was thinking about light and dark as I was doing it, and I think I got a bit confused at one point. It's uh, actually a good exercise in uh, shadow and light. Well, you know, where you get light on your face and shadow and that. Um, I may do, even do it again, because now I've done it once, I think I could do it better next time. And that's uh, a lot with the faces as well, is that uh, you will see me doing faces over and over again um, with the 29 Faces series, because uh, I do one and I like it, but I know I could do it better. So, um, yeah, so I will repeat faces. And if you're not watching the series from previous years, you won't even know. I'm just telling you. <laughs> yeah, do not go back and look at 2015. Or go back and look at 2015 and see how far I've come in my journey. That's actually quite interesting. Um, yeah, my first faces. Uh, it was like a bit of a shocker, really. But uh, I was putting it out there because uh, to improve, you have to practice and you've got to be able to take criticism and you've got to be able to critique your own work and see where you can do better so yeah i'm not being negative about uh, things i do i'll tell you if i if i uh, like it or i don't like it because i'm allowed <laughs> it's my work i can like it or dislike it um what i won't do is uh is um yeah what i don't do anymore is i don't rip them up and throw them in the bin <laughs> whereas I always used to it took me years to um, not to do that and uh, as soon as I didn't as soon as I stopped doing that I started noticing an improvement in what I was doing so whether that's because you have an ability to look back and see where you can improve um yeah and I do that now is that I keep looking back at my work and and think well you know I got this right I got that right I got that wrong <laughs> it's like uh, face number two in this series so far I got horribly wrong but it's still an okay face um I would try and do it again and I, and I, I probably won't do it again in this series I'd probably wait until next year and do it in the February next year and go back and revisit it I like I actually liked this one so I probably will go back and revisit this one as a light and a dark um, shade thing. It's really quite fun to do, actually. You know, getting away from the um, the normal way you do faces. So yeah, but I think I've put more of an effort into the light and the dark. I've just, 
you know, playing with the colour here and then uh, realise oh, what I should actually be doing is um, sorting out light, you know, where the shadow is and where the light's, light is and things like that. Um, but I think it turned out okay in the end. It was uh, quite a nice, a nice. Um, it was quite a nice, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> <laughs> My son said, uh, um, distracted by him walking in through the front door, is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, it was quite a nice, um, oh, I forget, completely. I'm not going to redo this voiceover, you'll just have to laugh at me, okay? <laughs> exercise is the word I'm looking for. It was a nice exercise to do, in, uh, to do with um, light, dark, shade and colour. So um, I would do it again and I think I could improve on it because you can always improve actually. <laughs> but anyway, here I am putting in the background a little bit. Or am I just, been, yeah, putting in the background so you can see the hair a bit better. I think I'll do it again just because I'll give her a different hair. <laughs> I think I sort of like um, missed out on the hair a little bit, but never mind. Looks a little bit robotic really, but it's not what I was going for at all. So just coming in with the Posca paint pen there, put in the um, eyebrows and I think what I do is I think I decide to go over the separation of the colours so they stand out a bit better and she ends up looking a little bit like a stained glass window or something. You know, so uh, so I think she turned out quite nice in the end, actually. If you can bear the freakiness of it as you go along, you know, with the colours and things. But then again, I'm a bit freaky with my colours anyway. So yeah, see, um, separating separating out the colours and that I think um, really helped the image in the end. So that's what I'm doing there, and I'll just say. Uh, Thank you for watching and um, please like, subscribe and share if you want to, of course. If you don't want to, that's okay too. Um, thanks for joining me and see you again soon. Bye.